Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm a Flex Film and today we're going to do a really cool experiment. We have two identical cars. This car was purchased yesterday, 2017 Tesla S. This car was purchased less than six months ago. What I want to point out in this experiment is that this car has every single window tinted, front windshield, side windows, and rear windows with our NanoFlex. A 70% and a 50% on the rest of the windows. This car has absolutely nothing on it. It's the way it came from the factory. But in this video, what we're going to show you on this 89 degree day, almost in the middle of the day, in the south, very hot, very sunny, we're going to show you what the differences are NanoFlex can make versus without NanoFlex. Okay, we're out here in the hot sun. It's straight above our head. The cars are turned off. They're heating up inside. We know that the interior of these cars without any window film on them at all or with window film is over 100 degrees. It's actually hard to tell the difference. It really doesn't matter. It's an insignificant difference. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about what we're about to do. We're about to turn on the climate control systems and we're going to put them on 74 degrees. And then we're going to hit the auto button and then the fan's going to come on. Okay, we want to see where the fan starts to cool down this car in that process. And then we want to see how fast the car will cool down. And then we want to see when it's cooled down, what fan speed does it need to maintain that 74 degree temperature. And we're going to do all this in about a nine minute span. And we can collect the data that we need and we can show you what it is. And we're going to find out is NanoFlex worth it or is it not worth it? Here we go. Okay, I'm sitting in this Tesla with no NanoFlex. I don't have a thermometer, but I know it's over 100 degrees. We looked at the cell phone earlier. You know, it's just as hot as a car gets when it's sitting out here in the in the sun. So I, I'm over here looking at the uh, thermostat. I'm, I'm going to press auto. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave the camera down. We're probably going to speed up the footage, and we're going to see how long it takes it to regulate the temperature to, to the desired temperature setting. And I think we're going to pick either 72 or 74 degrees. We just want to, you know, not go so low so we know the fan didn't have to work so hard. We want to get down to the nitty gritty of what it's going to do and how long. We predict that it's going to take more fan speed to maintain the temperature that we choose uh, than the other car with NanoFlex. So here we go. I'm going to hit the button now. And by the way, see the sweat on my arm? That's real, man. I'm hot as fire. Look at my face again. I, I, I mean, it's hot, man. Okay, here we go. Climate, it's at 74, it's auto. I'm gonna go ahead and push the auto button. Uh, you can see that it's going up, it's at eight. Okay, we know it's gonna go up to maybe even as high as 10. Um, and what we're gonna do is we, we know it's gonna begin to go down once we get to the desired temperature. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut my mouth and we're gonna maybe just speed the footage up and figure out how long it takes to get to wherever it's gonna to go to maintain the temperature of 74 degrees. Okay, now we're in the Tesla with the NanoFlex. We got the 70 on the front windshield and we got the 50 around the entire vehicle. We are, we are in the very hot sun, I'm sweaty. Uh, we are gonna turn the th thermostat on to 74 degrees and we're gonna see how long it takes it and how many bars it takes it to maintain 74 degrees and how long it takes it to get to 74 degrees. And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the auto in. Okay, it's cranking up. It looks like the temperature inside this car was definitely lower, so it didn't have to have as much to get it to 74 degrees, and that might be what we're seeing here. But anyway, we're gonna see how low it goes and where it levels off with the NanoFlex.
Okay guys, let's conclude this video. Let's talk about what just happened. It's real simple. If you choose NanoFlex, you're gonna start off at a lower temperature, it's gonna cool it quicker, and it's gonna take less bars to keep it that way. If you don't choose NanoFlex, even in a high-tech car, it's gonna start off at a higher temperature, it's gonna take longer to get there, and it's gonna take more bars to keep it cool. I don't have a meter that will tell you that. I've got a video that'll show you that, okay? That's as simple as this video needs to be. It, it, it does what the video says it does. And thank you guys for watching. If you wanna know how to get NanoFlex, you can always call Flex Film, and we'll be glad to help you.